Greetings, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. I am the Angry Rhino. We are here on Mining Monday on Arcfall Eve. No idea really what's coming, but based on the clues from Ultimate DJs, it sounds like a really big hostile. Okay, maybe a really big one out there in Borg Sphere Land so you can suicide your ships and get home. But potentially kill the ship and maybe get some kind of goodies from killing the ship. Who knows? Today's video, I'm going to be doing some Dominion Armadas. Some comments I've been getting are from relatively smaller players, compared to me anyway. Use smaller ships, it might help us understand better. I'm having trouble taking down my first set of them. It's all fine. This is, you know, this game, you progress at your pace. You started when you did. And yes, I understand me using big giant ships and putting 60 million power in an armada can feel like it's not. Like some of the suggestions and strategies I'm telling you may or may not work. So do have a few uncommon directives to spare. I don't have many. I'm not going to be running six or seven armadas here. And at least at this point, I'm not going to be spending rare or epic. Like I said, I have a few. So I'm going to run a few of these smaller ones with some smaller ships. Explain some of the crews and maybe or maybe it won't. But an attempt to help you better start or progress you know with your your ships so i have uh what do i have i have my vidar stella and discovery loaded up i don't have too many small ships or let's say smaller for small or what am i trying to say close to the size it may be a mid to low 30s or High 30s has. But my Vidar, my Stella, Discovery, eh, a little bit on the low end, I think. Maybe. Honestly, I can't even remember. I mean, I guess it's about the same power I would have had in a Solar Armada, but with power creep, who knows. And I did specifically try to pick an interceptor, a battleship, and an explorer try to maybe try to simulate the three epics, three stars, D4, Augur, Enterprise. Crews aren't necessarily specific to that ship type, but see on my biggest ship, five, six, con. This crew isn't the greatest armada, armada killing crew, but because of the loot gains, depending on what you're trying to do, it may be the best crew to put on your biggest ship. I'm not going too crazy below decks because I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know. What am I trying to do? I don't want to stack too much below decks because that can potentially skew the numbers more. Now, I do have a lot of attack stack. So, but even stacking even more is going to, you know, it's going to be more closer to my ships than your ships. At least that's what I'm trying to do. This crew. I'm thinking that maybe. If you're on a little lower end. You maybe did not get Cisco. Or if you're just starting. You have what? 75% of the shards. Since you haven't been able to do all the chest pulls. You don't have Cisco yet. So I'm running. 
Beverly. You see the two rares, thinking that maybe, yes, if you did participate in the arc, you at least got one rare from each time. So, Beverly, Miles, Bashir should know some of these crews by now. I took five off the screen, but yes, five mitigation captain ability with synergy from six that boosts it. Con does increase critical hit chance. Six increases your piercing stat. Here you have Miles increasing the shots. Bashir increases your crit chance. Beverly's captain ability regenerates your shield and her officer ability gives you mitigation. See, I didn't go too crazy on this one with the lower deckers. You see Tendi. Definitely take full advantage of them if you can. Tendi's going to give you whole health. See on this ship, Kirk, Spock, Lorca. Obviously with all the critical hit officers on my two bigger ships, I now want my support ship to send me Lorca. Threw a bunch of lower deckers below deck because, like I said, take advantage of them if you can. Alright, so let's send here. Shouldn't take too long to get there. <clears throat> no idea how this is going to go. What do I, how much? I got two and a half. So I got approximately what? Five, five and a half million. I know these power number and these strength numbers, they don't really mean a whole lot. I do think it can be kind of a benchmark for you, maybe. I think typically when I run my armadas, and yes, I guess it does kind of, things do kind of increase exponentially. But I try to shoot for about a quarter of the power of the armada. Yes, it doesn't mean anything. You can overcome a lot of that stuff with the crews. But as far as knowing or maybe having a somewhat close idea of what Armada you could potentially be taking down. Maybe when you can move up. Some of this comes with experience. All right, we're in a system. Let's try shopping around. Not that it really matters. I mean, I think the, dis the difference between the armadas down here, from what I'm gathering, it's not too much, which is good for you guys. Um, oh, shoot. Let me go. It is Mining Monday. I don't want to sit zero noted too long. Bear with me. Uh, sure, let's go there. Now, potentially, if you do have Cisco, slot him in here for Beverly. <clears throat> Beverly's nice and all, but I think Cisco is gonna gonna serve you better. And then potentially, you could put Beverly on your. Support ship, drop Kirk Spock, use Beverly, and maybe go Beverly, Lorca, and a burner. If you do have an auger, you probably, yeah, you probably want burn. I do think the Deep Space Nine crew could work pretty well on an auger. Part of it is Miles when his, all his extra shots if you can get an obliterator to fire twice, I think it will make your ship ability proc twice. I don't know. But it's it, it's possible. Plus, it's, it's a really big gun. You want it to shoot as many times as you can get it to shoot. <clears throat> Enterprise... You're always going to want Kirk, no matter what. So you could potentially run maybe, instead of Beverly, Kirk, 
Boner, Lorca on your Enterprise. You're losing some mitigation. So maybe even potentially on your battleship. Cisco, Miles, Burner, maybe the Hull Breacher might be a better idea because you might have more survivability. You're going to want Hull Breach to last longer than Burn, or at least the ship Hull Breaching or Burning, you would want the Hull Breacher to last longer. You're going to take more advantage of the critical hit than the Burn. Let's go ahead and start one. Should have started one a bit ago, but however. I know why I said that before. Um, <clears throat> if you do have Cisco and you're using Cisco and Miles as a combo. I think a lot of Armada crews you can kind of think of as a duo or a combo and then plus one extra X-Factor sidecar, I guess. Like, like this crew. Perfect example of what I'm trying to say. You have your duo or your combo, 5-6, and then you have the sidecar X-Factor in con. Potentially do the same thing here with Cisco. Cisco and Miles work pretty good together. I do think Cisco and Bashir work good together too. You don't necessarily need all three of them. You know, you don't think you probably don't need Cisco, Miles, and Bashir. Use one or the other with Cisco and add you a sidecar. X Factor, Burner, Hole Breacher, what have you. Let's see, am I going to win this or am I going to lose this? Oh, I won. Wow. Huh. That's. Well, how about that? Be perfectly honest, I actually thought I was gonna lose that. I didn't know if I had enough. But look here. 5.5 million against 22 million, and I was able to take it down. Some of that is probably my research. Kind of tough to say. I'm kind of curious. <sighs> I don't really want to send back. No, that's there's no armadas there. Wonder if I could punch up a little higher. Doubtful, but I have the I have at least one more directive, so let's check this battle log out. Even though I wasn't running shield regeneration on my Dar so didn't lose its shield normally and I may have said this before the idea with shield regen is you get to approximately 2 million maybe 3 million on your shields and you don't really need shield regeneration mitigation should take precedent there. Part of that is because after the battle's over, your shields come back. It's not like hull where hull is, you know, as it goes, it stays gone. So you could potentially benefit more from the mitigation. You could pro you can tell in a battle log if you, hypothetically, you lose an, arm, an armada, but you look at your ship in the battle log and you see you still had shields left. Well, that would be a good indication of when it's time to 
either remove the shield regeneration from your bridge or lessen it and add, maybe add some more mitigation. Kind of surprised. It's like the Stella didn't barely really recharge those, those shields a lot. Like this here, right? My discovery shields are up. Now I won the battle and potentially I could use Beverly here and use, oh, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I've, pl I've played this game enough. I know what buttons to hit. Like Cisco would probably be fine here. If anything, maybe better. Add more crit chance, such and such. Maybe a burner, but put Beverly here so I get an extra slot for like a burner. Maybe another piercing officer, like maybe Jadzia, I guess. Potentially put as captain if you have her. Or supposedly Changeling Cure has been fixed to where she doesn't break Armadas anymore. So you may want to consider using her. And what she's going to do, she's going to reduce the Armada's mitigation. How much up here? Let's shop around. Ooh, 117 and 108. There's a larger difference there. Of course, depending on how you look at it, I guess. To me, it's not a large that large of a difference compared to how much I need per chest. Let's send over here. That's thirty-eight million. This may or may not go well, but we'll see. And yes, mining Monday. Let's go. Oh. This system's really crowded. Oh, I guess it's Klingon space I wanted to go to. Yeah. Recall, go to Klingon space. There's more nodes in Klingon space. Side note. Potentially, with that mission, what they were trying to get people to do, the mine Tritanium is those systems up there. All those Tritanium nodes should be concentrated Latinum nodes. Instead of just changing them, they implemented them in the game and said, oh, mine the Tritanium and it'll change the concentrated Latinum. I'm like, well, why can't you just change it? But, however. So, I'm pretty sure in all the concentrated Latinum systems, if you have Tritanium nodes, if you mine all the Tritanium, it should change the concentrated Latinum and then, therefore, gives you some more concentrated Latin nodes in that system. Ooh, here we go. 15 seconds. Are we going to live or are we going to die? You see how I tapped on the Armada. Works with hostiles and players, too. We'll have the shield come up if you went. And I, I didn't win because I didn't see any of the shield or health bars come up. It's disappointing, but... Hopefully I still had that, the earlier one. See, this is what I was talking about here. And yes. You see how I lost this battle. But look at my discovery. Shields are still up. So. Tr I'm trying to explain this so you all understand it. And hopefully I'm doing a good enough job. It's kind of a waste, isn't it? Yes, shield regeneration is very useful, and in most cases it's very important, but having as much shield regeneration as I did on my discovery didn't help it, because I still lost my hull. So potentially if I had Beverly instead of Kirk and Spock, I would have had my mitigation, and therefore my hull may have lasted longer. 
and how close I and I, I wow I wasn't even close. So definitely need a few bigger ships for this one. This yeah, this one went much better. Yeah, look at my Stella here. Look at all these critical hits. Good thing about Bashir and why I say he might be a good pair with Cisco. Bashir at base adds 20% to your crit chance. Yes, Cisco does increase your crit chance, but it's a smaller amount per level. So if he starts out giving you five or however much he gives you, and you're you're not you're probably not even at twenty percent. If you had Bashir, you get to like forty five percent. So <clears throat> he kind of covers you until Cisco can build up. Yeah, I mean part of it. I think my weak link is was a discovery there. Maybe if I used another Stella, might have went a little better. I don't know. However. One reason why this crew <sighs> Yes, I think Cisco, Miles, and let's say Hole Breacher is a better Armada killing crew. Gives you your Hole Breach, make your crit chance, make your critical hits, do more damage. Extra crit chance with Cisco. Mitigation with Cisco, extra shots with Miles. This crew, 5 6 Con, isn't too far below them. One, because extra loot. Extra loot is always good. Depending on the armada, and with some of these solo armadas, you're going to get hit more, which means Con's going to proc more. And probably proc more than Cisco. So instead of Cisco giving any think about shield regeneration. Your Kirk Spock, your Beverly, they're gonna add you shield regeneration at the start of each round. Eurydice and the Enterprise itself, they're gonna do your shield regeneration when you get hit. So think about that. You're only going to get it to happen one time with Beverly and Kirk Spock. But potentially during a round you could have it happen multiple times with Eurydice or the Enterprise. The same thing here with the crit chance. With Cisco, it's going to get to happen once a round. With Khan, you have a good chance to get it to happen more than once a round. But six, I think, is a big part here. If you can stack enough attack, you can make those shots not get mitigated as much by the Armada. And he adds a bunch of mitigation with five. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. I was going to look at this and see, oh, did I get the max mitigation? Actually, did I get the max mitigation there? My math is kind of shit. Uh, it might actually be a little less than max mitigation there on the Stella. 27. No, I think that's pretty close to max mitigation. The Vidar was at max mitigation, I think. I don't know. All right, I'm kind of, I'm probably making this go on a little longer than it should have. So it's me trying to show you some crews that you could use at lower levels and get you going in your Dominion solo loop. Comment below if this video helped you out any. Don't be afraid to ask questions. 
What crew should I use? What ship should I use? If you can be as detailed with what you have available to you, as far as officers, do you have 5-6? Do you have Khan? Do you have Cisco? Do you have Miles? Do you have Bashir? Any other Deep Space Nine crews? You should have Kirk Spock. Beverly might be a little tougher to get. Hopefully you do have her unlocked. She is very useful. Lorca. Lorca is pretty hard to source, I think. Giorgio, Nero. Some of these are, you know, do depend on what tier they are. So if you can be, if you can give me more details, that would make it a little easier for me to actually give you help. Assuming you need it. If you don't need it, it's fine. However, just trying to help you in your gameplay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am the Angry Rhino. Shields up, Commanders.